Hi, this is Dave from Free Run Speed. Gonna give you a full review on the New Balance Fuel Cell Prism. The midsole is 28 millimeters here in the heel, 22 millimeters in the forefoot, giving you a six millimeter heel to toe offset. It is a little deceiving because this midsole wraps dramatically on the medial and the lateral side. So it looks like it's thicker than it actually is, but it's 28 millimeters back here and 22 in the forefoot. The shoe is 8.4 ounces or 238 grams in a men's size eight and 7.1 ounces and 202 grams in a women's size eight. Now I'm not sure if it's New Balance that did this or if it's the retailers themselves but both running warehouse and roadrunner sports call this a stability shoe which i think is the kiss of death because once a shoe is established as stability it says it's not for the majority of the runners if that makes sense so they're calling this stability or light stability and i think that's actually wrong. I think this thing is a perfectly neutral running shoe and I'll explain. I think they're calling it stability for three reasons. It wraps up right here under your arch. There's this design feature that does offer some structure into the midsole and then on the bottom you can see this large piece right here, which is right under the arch as well. So I think that's what's causing them to think that it's a stability shoe. But what I believe in this shoe is it's just a very versatile running shoe. So what do I mean by versatile? Let's look at the high school runner because I think this is a perfect high school runner shoe. That freshman or sophomore and coaches, you know what I'm talking about. Parents, you know what I'm talking about. That runner is either their body has got to catch up to the size of their feet or their feet have to catch up to the size of their body. So there, there's a, some awkwardness in those young runners. That's just reality. And so in that awkwardness, they could probably, just probably almost every one of those runners could use some structure in their running shoe. But then you get as to the older runners where they're strong athletes, every, their, their, leg, their body and their feet have caught up to each other. Now all of a sudden, they just need a shoe that lets them feel free and get up and go. And that's where I think this shoe is perfect for both of those types of runners. So at 120 bucks, this is an ideal high school runners running shoe. So what does that mean for the rest of us? Like I said, in my initial review, I think this thing reminds me of the Pegasus 33. Just, and Believe me, in the work that I do, you want a shoe to be the Pegasus 33 because that means it works for almost everybody. New Balance has got a lot of specific shoes for specific types of runners. But where they've been missing is that one shoe that covers whatever the number is, 30%, 40% of all runners out there who just want a good solid shoe that doesn't cost a lot of money, that is a, that they can go run in every day and feel good about it and feel every time they put the shoe on to go, yeah, I wanna go running. And I think they've got that with the Prism. First, it's fuel cell. Fuel cell feels alive. There's no doubt it feels more alive than standard EVA and that's good. Second, it does have some structure built into it. That's okay too. Third, the, the internal environment, the fit back here, 
this mesh upper, this engineered mesh upper, it probably belongs on a $150 shoe, but it's not on a $150 shoe. It's on a $120 shoe. So that's really cool. The lace, you know I got problems with the laces these days. I think this is the best lace in running shoes. Why it's on the prism and not on other shoes, I don't know, but they did that. And then internally you can see, maybe, maybe if I get the light right, you can see that mesh is wide open, so it's gonna be super breathable. I know we're going into winter, and for most of you, that means that shoe might be cold, but at some point, spring's gonna come and it's gonna get warm and you're gonna need a shoe that breathes really well, and this prism does it. And specifically for those kids that, uh, hopefully we have a track season next spring, great shoe for those uh, high school track runners. Personally, I've got about uh, 120 miles on this shoe. You can't really tell that I've run 120 miles. There's no real, there, there's no real wear showing on it. I'm going to say this. I thought the shoe was really good when I first put it on and ran in it. It keeps getting better every time I run in it. I've run in, I've done long runs. I've done long runs on trails. I've done hill repeats. I've done every kind of workout you can in this shoe and it just keeps getting better. And I like that about it. It, it feels like home when I put it on my foot and that's a good thing. So I think New Balance has done a great job with this shoe. Again, I'm so, it's, it's a shame that they put it, that the retailers put it in stability because I think they're doing it a disservice. I think it's versatility more than it is strictly stability. Let me know if you have questions about this shoe or any other shoe. Leave comments be below, I welcome New Balance Prism. It's not your everyday stability shoe.